Matthew? Today, Michael? Does he look like a, a duck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back. We are working on this 100% pure titanium heat exchanger. <laughs> this Aqua Pro. Pro 1000E. 1100. 1100. 1100E heat pump that customer says is not working. I have the condenser fan running right now. I think it's wobbling like crazy though, but the whole thing wobbles actually. But I do not hear the compressor. So, Matthew, yep. why is there garbage in my... Oh yeah, I go compressor, RLA 30, whatever. What are, you, what are you saying? What are you mumbling over there? I wanted to see when the thing was built, but I couldn't. I, I, By the way, we miss Kelvin. Do you miss Kelvin? I think I miss Kelvin. I miss Kelvin too. <laughs> but if Kelvin was here, he knew we wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get out this power, power tool kit. Yeah, it's faster. Let's take these screws out. Like, this thing is. Oh. Oh. Okay, now let's see what we got in there. You put both of them What? You put both of them there? Which? The screws? Yes, yeah. I put both of them there. Oh. What are we looking at? This is called a transformer. Alright. That is a water pressure switch. That's That's gotta be a compressor. Yes. Oh, up there. No, shh. Oh. Shh. That, quack, quack. Aflac. <laughs> this is your pressure water pressure switch. Yep. So it senses flow of water. This is your contactor. Yep. This is a capacitor for the yeah, compre compressor, and this is a capacitor for the condenser fan motor. Oh, I got it correct. Yes. I know Go turn off the double breaker over there. See it on the left-hand side? There you go. Now, we're going to start by discharging this capacitor. Like that. And then we're going to test this capacitor. This is capacitor is rated for 80. So we're going to see if this capacitor is good. We'll start with that first. We'll get my little capacitor tester, which is on the other side. Where is it, Matthew? There it is. Matthew, yep. hold this. Get ready to push the button. Push the button. <laughs> push the button, <laughs> fucking fake fuck face. It says it's open. It's open. Okay, let go. Let's try it again. Just push it. They're uh, point open. now open. All right, so. What was that first reading? Nothing? Open. No, it's. No, I mean, that nothing was that first. This capacitor, which is rated for 80. There are more in the truck. Is, not, is now reading nothing. We're reading open. Let's just test that one more time. Oh Here we go. So we'll start with that. So let's stick this there. Stick that there. Push the button. Boom. Point Basically nothing. Head. It's nothing. Oh, it okay. should say 80 or close oh, to 80. I got it, I one more time. Open. Point three again. Just reading that point two nine. Look, point stop three. it. Push it again. Point See? two nine. So this is not. This is not within a range anymore. So now we'll get another capacitor. Okay. So this is the old single 80 microfarad capacitor. Yep. I did not have a single, but I had a dual. All right, what is that? Right, mean? this is normally you have a fan as well. I can use a fan on this as well. So you have C, which is common, and you have Herm, which is hermetically sealed compressor. Okay. So I wired in the hermetically side sealed for this to work. Saved me a trip to the supply house to get an 80 single. I had the, the 85 dual there. We're good to go. And then if this was, if I actually had an 87.5, I could eliminate that one as well and have that one do both. But since this is 7.5, this is a 5. So if you look at the thing, it says 5. So it's 85 dual capacitor. And the pr problem here was bad capacitor. Bad capacitor. 